All right, so what we're gonna do here is go over this snatch technique video. What we're looking at is she is extending too early so she could work on being a little bit more patient, staying over the bar, waiting for the bar to get into her hips for that power position, and then extending, using the legs, pushing through the legs, and extending over, upward. So <clears throat> she's just extending a little bit too early, which is super common as to why a lot of people kick out the bar and hump what they call hump the bar. So good on her setup, looking down, getting her hands in the right position. Looks like she knows what she's looking for and trying to get set up. As she comes down, she gets her butt down, and then she pauses here, stops for a second, makes sure she's set up really well. She does a great job of taking those shoulders, and watch, she checks her shoulders here, pulls them shoulders back. Very nice, engaging those scap muscles, pulling those shoulders back. That's going to be super important as she comes up. She stays over the bar, looking really good here as the bar is at the knee. Um, this is ideal position. She's still looking forward. Now, here's where she begins to shift forward. You saw her, her butt, her knees, and her feet. Everything shifted forward, and now her shoulders are just on top of the bar instead of behind, over the bar, which they need to be over the bar. So she's shifting forward, and we're going to see that more as she progresses, as she goes forward on the toes too early, and we see the shoulders go behind the bar. Look at that, look at that. Shoulders are behind the bar. She's already up on her toes. So like we talk about triple extension, well, she's already extending too early. Her, she's really gonna have nowhere to go with this bar except for humping the bar and kicking the bar outward, which is gonna throw the bar um, further off from a straight path, and then she's gonna have to stabilize it overhead. And with a light weight, it's fine, we can do that, but when we're going for a max, it's gonna be really difficult to stabilize that heavy weight overhead after we've kicked it out front. So the cause of that is her extending too early or trying to get behind the bar too early, bringing those shoulders back too early. So she catches the bar, um, looks fine here. So. But she's, you know, going to have trouble with heavier weights trying to catch that weight after she extends too early. So what we want to do is actually go back and we want to focus on once you bring the bar above the knees in the pole, right, it is right here staying a little bit more over the bar. You want to keep those shoulders over the bar as long as possible and pull back with the lats and pull that bar into your hips and not shoot your hips out into the bar. So you're pulling those bar up into the hips, pulling the bar up into the hips and keeping that flat foot on the floor. You want to keep that flat foot on the floor until that last minute when the bar hits the hips. Now when the bar hits the hips, we're going to push through those feet and extend violently with the legs and even going to triple extension up on the toes and then from there rip that bar upward with your arms and pull yourself down underneath it keeping that bar pass super nice and straight so what i would have her do is a couple things i would probably have her work on some halting deadlifts um, or some lasha pulls and I think that would help her to keep her shoulders over the bar longer and just get more patient and, and confident and comfortable in that position in the pull. I would still also have her do some high pulls, um, you know, working on even after um, doing those halting deadlifts, working on keeping those positions and then piecing it together with extending and then ripping with the arms and just keeping the timing there. And, uh, of course, then once we put all that together, eventually have her go to the snatch. Another thing I would also have her do is use the Mac board. Um, international coach, weightlifting coach, USA weightlifting coach, um, Don McCooley, he, he used the Mac board. And basically, you're just putting a piece of ply, ply board on the ground, hanging your toes off the board. So that way, when you go into the pull or you go into the snatch or clean or whatever, you can't extend, you can't get on the toes too early like she's doing. So you have to stay on that full foot um, because you're on the board. You really have to focus, and then the last minute you extend. And usually by then your trajectory is like a lot of times athletes will jump just a slight bit backwards. So you're almost jumping backwards to where when you catch the snatch, 
you know, your, your toes are typically not hanging over the edge anymore, which that's not necessarily the purpose of it. But what you, the, what you want is it just keeps you from getting on those toes too early. And so the whole thing is getting on the toes too early causes you to extend too early, which causes you to hump the bar or kick the bar out and not keep that bar straight up and down. So that's the visual I just wanted you to get. Please ask me any questions that you have. Shoot me any questions. Um, would love to answer them. Thank you for watching. Please, if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, share, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks. So this is the Mac board. You just get a small like three quarter inch piece of plywood, put it down, cut it small enough that your plates can go on the outside of it. And then we're just gonna use this as a tool, hang our toes off the edge. And this just keeps us from coming on the toes too early, okay? Helps us to drive with our whole foot. We wanna drive with the whole face of our foot when we get into that power position and drive upward. We're driving up, we're not driving out. And so it just keeps us from getting on our toes too early. As you saw in the video, that's what happens. We come forward too early, kick the bar out. The mat board is just a great tool that you can use. Like you don't even need a coach. You literally just get the mat board, hang your toes right over the edge, do your lifts or do your pulls, and it's self-correct.